Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Matthew, I am filmmaker from Poland and today I'll show you how to unlock 120p using Adamus Ninja V with Canon cameras. So let's begin! It's my first video on this channel, that's why I wanted to show you some really handy feature that allows you to record higher frame rates from your Atomos device. Ninja V is on the market for about 2 years, it's quite old right now, but it's still a very useful tool and helps me a lot when it comes to monitoring and set, but also it's beneficial in the editing section of my workflow. Ok, enough about Ninja V because... It's not a review of this unit, if you're curious what's my thought about some gear, let me down below in the comments, maybe I'll do some reviews. Right now my daily camera is the Canon C70. I am really impressed by images from it, however it has one significant downside, it's a codec. XAVC might be useful for someone that editing less complicated projects, but if you are trying to use that in more demanding environment, it's starting to be very difficult to handle, even with the latest M1 chipset on my MacBook Pro. There is also another downside. Any production company that I am working with also prefers an industry standard codec that is less compressed. When it comes to it, ProRes is mostly the best way to go. Canon C70 outputs 10 bit 42 signal externally using HDMI connection. In most cases it's fine, but there is also one limitation of that. It lets you record only up to 60p, which is not enough if you are a YouTuber that records everything in 120, or for example me sometimes. To be honest, you don't need it very often, but it's an excellent addition to have that slow and smooth footage. Mostly I am recording ProRes externally and I use internal XAVC only as my backup and because of that 60p limitation my workflow started to be way more complicated than I thought. After the shot I have to plug my SD, manage all that media, find that 120 once, next transcode it to ProRes and use it. You may say that it's not necessary just to use an internal codec for those few shots, but it's just an inconvenient way to work for me. Luckily there is a workaround for that, and this is recording clean feed directly from Canon menu. The thing is, those latest cameras like R5, R6, C70 and I assume that higher lineup also works like that, they let you output clean playback directly from HDMI port. To do this transcoding thing you have to play your files in camera and record that image with Ninja. It's simple as that. You can quickly choose the right shots during that process and then transcode them right away. I think it's much more useful than handling in home or editing studio. With that simple solution you have all your files in one SSD that are transcoded to very editing friendly codec. You can even edit those files right from your SSD which is a huge time saver for me. I hope it helps you to make your workflow much more convenient. If you are interested in more content like that, you don't have to subscribe, but make sure to be here from time to time and make your DP and editor's life much more comfortable. Ok, that's all for today, let's be out of frame.